Hi right, friends, today we'll be adding our consumables into the game. Last time we made two assets, one for the medkit and one for the ammo pickup. You can download those free uh, for free on my Patreon. So first of course we have to import them, so I'll go over to my FBX and then I'll create a new folder for consumables. And in go the FBX files and we also have to re-import our texture or our base color palette. So I'll just delete this one and put in the new one. There it is. And let's go to the FBX files that we've just added. Oh, my bad. I'll select both of them in model, disable blend shapes, visibility cameras and lights. On the rig, I'll set it to none no animation here and for each one of them go to material and click on none i'll go to my scene real quickly and if you just click on your map assets and press f it will kind of bring you there and i just want to quickly create some prefabs from these two so i'll drag in the ammo and the med kit just check that they're all right there's no normals going crazy and for each one of them, I'll just go to materials and I'll drag in the base palette material like this. You can see now that they work. So well, I'll select both objects and under layer, I'll click pickup right here. So now we can raycast to them because we already have a script that does that. And that's done in our player pickup script where whenever we press E, we raycast and see what we hit. Currently, we can only hit a weapon here. So we'll have to separate this so it knows if it's either a weapon or a pickup that or a consumable or so, of some sorts. And you can see here we create a weapon new item that goes into the item object script and checks if the item in there is a weapon. Currently, this will give us an error. First off, because we don't have an item object on our a medkit and ammo and secondly even if we did it's not a weapon so it would just give us an error so we'll have to create a new item called consumable so i'll go into my scripts and then into items and i'll create a new c sharp script called consumable consumable open that up i'll delete the default functions i'll make it derive from item because we want those variables and then we also have to create it as a asset here. So I'll just create asset menu. Uh, it will be file name, new consumable. And then we'll also have menu name that's under item consumable. And now we can create an item. Let's see how that goes. So if you go to our prefabs or scriptable objects and then create items, my bad, I named that wrong. It's not item, it's items consumable, just like that. So I was missing an S. So create items consumable, and let's call this one medkit. And you can see it has some default values. We'll just set medkit and then restores health to full. We don't need an icon because we're not going to be storing it in our inventory. We just need this so we can tell if it's a medkit or a ammo. And in order to do that, we're going to need a variable in here. And for that, I'll create a new public enum called consumable type. And I'll either have medkit or ammo, just like that. And now we can create a new public consumable type. And I'll call it, I'll just call it type, just like this. And now in our actual item scriptable object here, we should be able to set if it's a med kit or a ammo kit, I guess. So we'll just I'll just duplicate this med kit and I'll call it ammo. I'll change the name here, restores ammo to full. No need for an icon, and we'll just set that to ammo. In order to get this from this information from our item, I'm gonna go and shift select both the medic and ammo, medkit and ammo. I'll I'll add the item object, and for the item on the medkit, I'll give it the medkit item, and for the ammo here, I'll give it 
the ammo. <clears throat> Make sure you select all of them or both of them and then set their layer here to pick up so we can actually raycast to them. Let's now try and raycasting and finding out if it's an item or a consumable or a weapon. So here whenever we raycast, we raycast to the pickup layer and then we debug what we hit. And here I want to check if it, it, if it is a weapon or a consumable. In order to see, I'll create an if statement and I'll go hit dot transform dot get component and I want to get the item object component and then I want to get the item right here. And we can cast it uh, as a weapon or a consumable. So I'll just go as weapon. And this will return true if it is a weapon. So if it is a weapon, then we'll do this thing that we've already been doing before. Excluding the actual destroy one. That one we can keep somewhere else like there. Because we'll need it for both objects. We want to delete a medkit whenever we use it. Else... I'll just say currently we have only two types of items, so a weapon and a consumable. So I can just say else, but if you, if you had three, you would do a else if. So else, I'll just do, um, I'll just copy this line right here where we cast it as a weapon, and I'll just change this to consumable. And then here, I'll cast it as a consumable. Right, and then I want to check if it's a med kit or a um, ammo kit. So I'll say if new item dot consumable type or type just type is equal to consumable type dot med kit. Then we want to heal. Let's just say there. And again, we are we currently have only two of them, so med kit or ammo. So I can just do else right here. Oh, my bad. I hate when this happens. So I can just say else and then we'll ammo just like that. And this is not going to work. We need some curly brackets. And then I'll just move this into there and ammo into there. And let's just debug that log uh, healing here if we're picking up a med kit and uh, ammoing. If we're picking up ammo let's see if that works before we test this out uh, you need to add a collider to these so I'll just add a box collider to both of them like this so we can raycast to them very important let's click play so I'll go over if I press E you can see it destroys it and it uh, prints healing and here it prints ammoing so it's calling the correct function functions so now we just have to make the actual uh, things behind it so it actually heals and does ammo. I'll delete these debug statements and for healing uh, we'll have to go to our um, player stats and you can see in player stats we have a method do we? Actually that should be in character stats. We have a method for heal right there and for how much health we should heal. So we can use this to uh, bring functionality to our health and for our ammo uh, in our equipment manager we have our primary current ammo and primary current ammo storage and then secondary ammo as well so we can restore these we'll probably need a function for that uh, but for now no actually we already have a add ammo function so that's good let's first do the med kit so in our player pickup right here we'll need to get a reference to our player stats so i'll create a private player stats stats and then in our get references down here let me just quickly check where that's located i think it should all be on the player object and it will make our job a lot easier and you can see player pickup and player stats are on the same object so what we can do is just say stats is equal to get component player stats just like that and now whenever we heal here, let's just say stats dot heal. And we want to heal for the stats dot uh, max health. And I'm not sure where that is located. And in order to get the max health variable, you can see it's protected here. We can get it. We'll just create a quick function that uh, does that for us. So we'll create a uh, 
public int get max health and we'll just return max health just like that so now in our player pickup we can say stats dot heal stats dot get max health like that and it will heal us for the max health amount so fully let's next do our ammo so we have to get our weapon shooting script here and call the um where is it add ammo functions currently they're private so i'll just make this one public for adding the ammo doesn't really matter does it so in our player pickup we have to get our weapon shooting script and i'll call it shooting like that and then i'll say shooting equals get component weapon shooting oh my bad So I just want to say shooting dot add ammo and we want to add the ammo for the for both weapons primary and secondary but we also need to get the uh, max uh, magazine size and stored ammo variables from here so we can actually fill them up all the way and this is also going to reload your magazine magically so we need to fill these both up so or we need to get these from there and in order to get these we'll need to get our equipment manager uh, right here because here is the currently equipped uh, weapon and then we can raycast to an in or we can cast to an in inventory and check there so yeah that's a bit of a pain but we'll have to do it that way it's quick and dirty so we'll need a private um, equipment manager equipment and then we'll also need a private inventory which we already have so that's good and for our equipment, I'll just quickly say equipment equals get component uh, equipment manager. And then here, whenever we add ammo, pause. Okay, uh, as I was editing this video, I found out that there's a better way to do it, at least from here. So in our player pickup, here when we're, you know, adding ammo here, we don't actually have to add ammo. It doesn't work that well. You'll see later. Uh, so what you can do is actually call the init ammo because that goes through each slot and tops off the ammo. It just sets it. It doesn't add to it, which works a lot better. So, uh, yeah, just call init ammo with the inventory weapon uh, get item 0 and then inventory get item 1. And slot is also 0 and 1. So instead of, you know, what the fuck I'm going to type in here, uh, you can just make that look a lot nicer. So you can say... Well, you'll need to keep the if inventory get item zero is not equal to null. So there needs to be an item in the inventory or it will uh, return an error. So what you can say is shooting dot get item, or sorry, shooting dot init uh, ammo. And then you give it zero and you also give it inventory dot get item zero. Right. Uh, that's uh, much more of a or less of a sausage code than this one was and just change it to one. So yeah, this is the basic code. So whenever you pick it up, uh, you check if there is a weapon in the slot, in the primary slot, for example, and then you add ammo to it or initialize ammo, just top it off. And then uh, you do the same thing for the secondary weapon. Pretty simple. And you also don't need the equipment variable here. I don't know why I added that. Uh, I, I removed it later. So yeah, that's it. Uh, like I was editing the video and saw that there was like five more minutes of me figuring this shit out while well, I just missed the complete function. Yeah, that's it. This works fine. Uh, I guess I'm doing a second outro. That's it. Bye bye.